This is a big day for a former East Bay High School football star from Antioch. He is about to be selected in the NFL draft. Yeah, he's supposed to go in the first round, but football is only part of the story for Najee Harris. His family was once homeless, and KTVU's Rob Roth tells us that today, on draft day, Najee Harris went back to the shelter that helped him and his family get back on their feet. Talk about a great comeback. Not long before the start of the National Football League draft, star running back Najee Harris returned to the homeless shelter in Richmond Thursday, where he and his family stayed for about a month when they had nowhere else to go. When it was a time for me that I needed a helping hand, um, they, they gave us the opportunity to, um, to get back on our feet. So um, it's my, I feel like you know, it's my job to give back. While the dozens of current residents of the Greater Richmond Interfaith Program, or GRIP, are holding a draft day watch party, Harris is providing the food and saying hello. A lot of memories for me happen here, um, so you know, this is one that, that stood out to me the most. Harris was in middle school when he stayed at GRIP before his family eventually moved to Antioch. This is probably one of the most amazing return stories that it is I've heard. GRIP Executive Director Kathleen Sullivan says the shelter wanted to celebrate Harris, but he insisted on picking up the tab. But just imagine being raised to uh, have empathy and to give back. Um, and he's obviously been raised with that mindset the whole time. Before Harris became a top college running back at the University of Alabama, he graduated from Antioch High School, having run for the most yards in Bay Area high school history. This is a photo of his 99th and final touchdown at Antioch. We're very proud of Najee. Antioch High principal Louis Rocha wore Harris's Bama jersey to school today. Whenever he's in town, he comes back to visit the school, visit staff talk with students. So he's someone who uh, I think values uh, the people that have been there for him. And um, that's what I love about him. His high school assistant football coach says no one worked harder than Harris or was more humble. He was extremely shy when he got here. And it's really just the last couple years, you, everybody's been able to see his personality. But as high as Harris has climbed, he has not forgotten where he started. I feel like I will be giving back and there's uh, more other ways that I'm going to be doing that though. But this is a start. Harris is in the process of forming a nonprofit to help the community and he's already signed a deal with Nike. Rob Roth, KTVU Fox 2 News.